In this video, I am going to tell you how you can fix this issue that says serve images in next gen formats in your page speed insights reports. So in order to fix this issue, what you actually want to do is to go to your WordPress website and then you can go to the dashboard of your website. Now once you will go to the dashboard of your website, you can go to these plugins and there are multiple plugins to do that. And the easy fix for this issue is that you need to convert all of your images into the WebP format. Now there are multiple plugins that do that. One of the very famous plugin is WebP Express. Either you can install this plugin or activate this plugin or there is another plugin that is called Smush this plugin right here you can do this thing using this plugin as well so let's just try both of these plugins so first of all let's just start with the smash plugin so with the smash plugin you can simply install this plugin and then you can activate this plugin and once you will activate this plugin here you will see a new option that will say smash so click on this smash here now here you have this option bulk smash and then all of the other things and then you have lazy load options here now if you will click on this bulk smash it will analyze all of the images that you have on your server and then it will try to smash all of that images automatically and here you can see you have the option to set up the automatic compression that is whenever you upload a new image it will automatically get compressed so let's just activate this option and then you have this metadata option here image resizing you can enable this image resizing option here and here you can define the max width and the max height for the images and then you can also disable scaled images if you want and then if you want to compress the original images you can enable this option here and that is basically all the things in in this tab right here next up we have this directory smash option so in the directory smash option you can choose a directory that you actually want to smash so generally you have all of these things all the images inside of this uploads folders so select this upload folder and smash everything that you find inside of this folder that is basically how you do that next option you have is lazy load images i already i am already using a plugin that is called auto optimize to lazy load the images so i'm not going to activate this option from here then you have the option to enable the cdn so you don't actually need a cdn for this level but if you are really curious about a fast website and you are cautious about the fast website you might need to get a cdn they are very helpful now the next option we have is this local webp this option right here will let you convert your images into the webp but this option is only for the pro version so without the pro version you won't be able to change the images to the webp format now let's just move to the other plugin that we installed the webp express so let's just activate this plugin right here and let's delete the smash plugin from there because we don't actually need this plugin that is not useful for us to convert the images so i'll just delete this plugin from here now here is the webp express you can click on the settings here and once you will click on the settings here it will ask you for operation mode varied Im image response cdn friendly no conversions or tweaked keep it as the varied image response then on the scope you have this upload only themes only upload and theme all content everything i only want to uh, convert the uploads only file and then image types to work on i want this plugin to work on both jpegs and pngs and the destination folder i want it to have in a separate folder and then the file extension we need in the webp format then the destination structure image roots or the document roots keep it on the image root just the way it is cache control header do not set if you want to set a cache control header you can set it from here you will have to set and then you can make it public or private that is your choice and then if you want you can prevent using web fee larger than original just make sure you check mark this image uh, this option from here then here it will uh, write some HTAccess rules in order to convert the images into the web fee 
and here are the options for the conversion so for the jpg options web encoding auto quality for lossy same as jpeg or fixed quality you can define these things here if you want you can limit this number here like how many percentages you want the quality 80 percent lossy or 70 percent 60 percent 50 percent whichever number you want to have here you can have it here then web pin coding auto these are for the pngs so i'll change the same 80 and 70 here and the quality of lossless apply pre-processing or 100 percent lossless so i'll keep apply pre-processing here now for the metadata no metadata in the webp or copy all the metadata to the webp so whichever metadata is inside the jpeg jpg or the png format images will be applied to the web piece here so you have the option to do that here now in my hosting i have these three options here image magic graphic magic and the gd extension you might have more options here or you might only have this gd extension whichever option is enabled and have a green check you can use that option convert and upload you can enable this option so that whenever you upload a new image it will automatically get converted into the webp format now here you have this option that says bulk convert you can click on this bulk convert button right here and it will bring you this thing and here you can see it says there are 1189 unconverted files so i can click on select conversion and here it will automatically start converting all of those images into the webp format where it says ok if you hover over this thing here here you can read about this url structure now it is webp from jpg to the webp so you now you will have to wait for this process to get completed now here you can see all of these images are already being converted into the webp format now we can go back to the page feed inside and let's test the website again so i'll click on the analyze button again and right here you can see that error is now gone so in this way you can fix this error as well i hope you have find this video useful if you have find this video useful make sure to hit the subscribe button be sure to hit the bell icon to always get the latest video updates thank you very much i'll see you in the next video